it's here guys lost ark north america and europe it's here from what i know um the release date there was a date floating around of october 21st which would be squarely in fall of 2021 but lost ark is finally announced for north america and europe it's here now i'm not like mega hyped just yet and i'll tell you in just a second why i'm not mega hyped but i am hyped i've been looking to play this game for a very long time in a, on a ping appropriate server the first things first um you can find all the information here um on both the website and steam um there's founders packs available for four, uh, 25 50 or 100 dollars um there's a lot of stuff in these packs that i'm not sure really that worth it um so do make the purchase on your own discretion um i personally just recommend the 25 dollar one none of these are like really that critically important um outside of maybe like if you really really like the avatars or just really want these exclusive wallpapers from the founders founders packs but yeah this is a decision that you can make on your own if you are willing to put in money <clears throat> i believe silver is worth it just for the beta access and head start um, but outside of that um, i i wouldn't really recommend spending too much um, now let's look at some of the information that's available right now um, there isn't a lot there isn't they didn't really go over any really um, critical pieces of information but based on what I know from how the J Japanese server launched, we'll most likely get um, staggered releases of content. So initially there might be just tier one content and then um, like tier one up to like Shushire and like um, pretty low item levels. And then we might get like um, Shushire to Rohendo and then Rohendo um, to Yorn. Uh, which will begin the T2 content, and then Yorn to Peyton, um, and then Peyton to etc. So I'm guessing that um, we will most likely won't catch up to Korea anytime soon, or even Russia. Um, but the, it does release with the Assassin class. And as I go through some of these classes, um, you'll notice why I wasn't too, like, too too uh hyped about it um i'm actually quite underwhelmed in terms of what they're bringing and um you'll definitely understand why very soon but i am happy that they're bringing the assassin class along with it and not just the base 12. so let's go over the classes um warrior and there's three classes available, but you might be noticing something. This is the Paladin, which is um, Holy Knight in Korean server. Um, we're missing Berserker, or not Berserker, but Destroyer, um, which is part of the original 12 classes. So I'm not sure why Berser uh, Destroyer isn't here. And I'm hoping that this is an oversight by some intern who had to spend 15 hours a day um, creating this website. Um, the day before the actual re um, announcement and he just happened to forgot forget um, destroyer but there's also another class that's missing which is arcana so arcana and destroyer are just straight up missing from here um, the other classes have some pretty poor translations um, berserker obviously is just berserker um, paladin which is holy knight um, paladin usually in my head paladins are associated with shield and sword um, sword sword and shield but um, he has a book, not a, not a shield. <clears throat> so it doesn't really fit um, the paladin idea, I don't think. In fact, I think Holy Knight is just the perfect name for it. So I don't know why we're not using that. Um, there's Gun Lancer instead of Warlord. Um, I think Warlord was fine, but Gun Lancer fits as well because um, everyone's been memeing about Warlords being just car carbon copy of uh, Gun Lance from uh, Monster Hunter uh, series. So. I guess they're embracing it. Let's get martial artists. This is probably the most egregious uh, section. Um, <laughs> you got 
War Dancers for Battle Masters, Scrappers, oh boy, for M Fighters, which is already English, by the way. Battle Master, M Fighter, and Soul Master are all English words, which I don't understand why they felt the need to translate into something worse. And then you got Soul Fist. Um, we don't get Lance Master for some reason when we get Assassins, when Lance Master is the first new class that they released. So I'm not, I'm not quite understanding what the logic behind this is and i'm not really this is probably the part that i'm like concerned about is like the fact that these class informations are so um inconsistent and just it's not coherent in my in my book um let's look at gunners we get gunslinger which is like the second latest class in korea next to uh next to striker the male battle master. Like we get gunslinger, but we don't get scouter. We don't get lance master. We don't even get destroyers. I don't understand what's going on here. Um, I'm hoping this, I'm just praying that this is an oversight. We get gunslinger, we get um, blaster, who's artillerist, Jesus Christ. Um, Deadeye, which is devil hunter, and then sharpshooter instead of Hawkeye. When he has a hawk as part of his identity. Yeah, let's go to um, mages. You get bard and summoner. I already mentioned that Arcana is missing. Um, I don't know. And then assassins. We get shadow hunter instead of demonic. And we get death blade for blade. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I don't agree with these translations. I think we can just keep it as demonic and blade, and everyone will be happy. Um, we're missing some classes. We're missing some classes and terrible translations. We're missing some classes. We're missing some classes. I don't know what's gonna happen. Um, it doesn't make sense that they have gunslinger, but they don't have destroyer or lance master. It just doesn't make sense to me. But I'm hoping that this is once again an oversight. And we can be more excited about the actual content that's coming, which I'm not 100% sure what what all the content will be. Um, the story section, I think, gives a little bit of insight. Um, there's like chapter one, chapter two, chapter three. This is like um, at the end of the Lutheran, um, Lutheran part. And then there's um, chapter four, um, which is like Anich. And there's chapter five, which I believe this volcano is a like in Yorn. I don't know. I don't know why it skips to Yorn. I, maybe I just I don't really read. I don't really pay attention to the story, so I'm probably wrong. <laughs> um, this might be Ardentine. I'm. I don't. I don't recall seeing a volcano in Ardentine, but I definitely do recall seeing a volcano in Yorn. Um, so. Um, we're probably just getting like the very, very beginnings of Lost Ark storyline. We're going to have very limited number of islands that we can actually go to, very limited number of content so that people aren't burning themselves out like nobody's business, which I 100% guarantee people would be regardless of how much content that they release. But I really do hope this doesn't push too many people away from playing the game um, long term. Because I, I know, I definitely understand that people want to catch up to where Korea is. Um, but that's just not going to happen, realistically speaking. But hopefully you guys um, you guys are excited about what's happening. There's news um, bringing Lost Ark to the West. Learn more about Alpha. Um, there's a lot, of, um, a lot of information available that's not really that much information. But it's better than... Um, Better than nothing. Um, there's more information on like business model, content cadence. Um, players will choose from 14 classes. Abyss Dungeon, Ancient Alveria. So we're going to get Abyss Dungeon, the very beginning. Um, sea of Guiana, so just the Eastern Sea. Um, and then there's going to be... Um, there's going to be a lot of other things that are happening, such as... Um, what we can expect yeah there's a, just a lot there's just a lot that they had to do and 
unfortunately the game that you might be expecting might not be the game that we receive so please do curb your some of your expectations um just like i told you in the beginning like i'm not too hyped because there are clear indications that there's going to be changes to the game that might not be 100 percent what we want but i'm hoping that the core of the game is good enough that we can overlook some of these um, publication errors but hopefully you guys enjoyed the information and um, the announcement um, i'll try to make more videos and information content um, as uh, the release date approaches near and we have more information and i will try to make more content that's more uh, appropriate for newer players um, as well as some of the more veteran players um, but that is all depending on if I have enough time in the day to <laughs> to do all this. But hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you guys next time.